What's up guys, Grim here, and it's time to give away the seventh Dream Soul Bundle. Now if you had left a comment in the comment section below in my Paralord build video, then you are entered into this contest. And the winner of the Dream Soul Bundle is... Congratulations, enjoy your Arbiter, Oracle, Physician, and Liberator Souls. And I'd also made a thread on the Rift forums about this giveaway, so if you're one of the people that left a comment in that thread, then you are entered in to win a Rex. And the winner of the Rex is... Congratulations, enjoy your Rex and thank you so much for supporting my giveaway. But this big giveaway wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Zolid and Godlike Awesomeness for providing the Dream Soul Bundle to us to give away. The prize this week is a month subscription to Rift. So if you'd like to be entered into this giveaway, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below in this video and you will be entered in. Be sure that you leave your character name and server so we know where to send the month subscription to. And make sure that you are subscribed because if you are not subscribed then you will be disqualified from this contest. Good luck everybody. What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're going to go over how to make your Rift game run a little bit better. And I know I did a guide for this before but this one's an updated version that will hopefully get you a few more frames per second compared to the older guide. We're going to jump right into this and the first setting that we're going to change around is if you have a GeForce card, if you've in installed the drivers for it, naturally you have this program here called NVIDIA Control Panel. And this will allow you to tweak the settings on your graphics card and help you out a lot. So open this up and then go over to Manage 3D Settings here on the left side. And that will pop up this whole menu thing here. And then you go to Program Settings. And then it'll show a list of the programs that you have right here and you can click on it and get a drop down menu and go ahead and select your Rift game which is Rift.exe. If it is not on the list then click on the add button and find your Rift game uh, Rift.exe and go ahead and select it so that you have it here. And then once you've done that go ahead and go down a little bit down to power management mode. Uh, normally this setting right here will be set on the use global setting adaptive we want it on prefer maximum performance that's going to allow your graphics card to work a little bit harder whenever you're playing rift and increase your frames per second by quite a bit now we're in game and we're going to try to increase our frames per second by adjusting our in-game settings so you can hit the escape button and then go to settings or else select it at the bottom left of your screen there. And then we want to go to video on the left side and then go to advanced. And that will pop up this menu right here to where we can adjust our graphic settings uh, to make things more beautiful or make them plainer but run better on your computer. And really what we're shooting for here is to reduce the pressure on your processing which is referred to as your CPU uh, we've already increased the performance of our graphics card which is known as your GPU so that can handle a lot more so we can actually turn those settings up if we want but some of them are going to be turned down with this just to increase our frames per second with things that we don't really need. But one of the things I never sacrifice whenever I adjust settings is I want to be able to see things far away. I don't want to run right up on an enemy before he actually appears on my screen. So that's always going to be turned up on all of my settings. Alright, let's jump right into it with terrain distance. I put that all the way up to six. Want to see things far away, like I said. Object distance, all the way up. Same idea there. Okay, object detail, we want that turned all the way down. Uh, anistropic filtering, turn that all the way down. Texture quality, all the way down. Pixel 
granularity all the way up and then you can adjust these how you want the little options down here that has the check boxes but i highly recommend you keep full screen fx turned off and enable detail objects turned off so you can mess with the other stuff if you want but i recommend you keep those two things off all right now we go into ground clutter at the top right here the density turn that all the way down ground clutter radius turn it all the way down shader complexity turn it all the way down lighting quality all the way down particle quantity turn it all the way down spell detail once again all the way down and we want all of these down here cloaks anti-aliasing and shadows to be set to none because that's also going to be a lot of pressure taken off of your computer whenever you turn them to none so that's basically it you want to make sure that you turn down all the settings that is going to be really intensive on your computer but you can turn up the things that you absolutely need or things that kind of uh work more with the graphics card because that can handle more than your cpu is handling in rift because we've upped the performance of it so it's all up to you guys how you want to adjust it all you can uh play with the settings if you like this is just a, a groundwork to go with be whenever you are going into conquests and stuff that is very laggy and this will help you out a lot so i hope you guys enjoyed it as usual my name is grim Make sure you hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed. Alright, see you guys next time.